So I found this huge stocking on clear at like after Christmas clearance last year at Walmart. It was originally $20 and I got it 50% off. So it was only $10. It's huge. It's so cute. Um, and I thought this would be such a fun little tradition to start. Um, I have one daughter, she is two and I'm pregnant with baby brother right now. Um, but I did see Walmart has these this year as well. Um, at least in red, cause I saw it in red and I'm going to try to get him one. So next year and every other year after that, it can be like a special little thing that they get giant stockings for Christmas. <laughs> it's unnecessary. It's definitely overboard, but I just thought it was the cutest idea ever. And these are actually really nice. They're like knit and they've got like felt on the inside. And last year I got her so much stuff for her stocking that it like half of it was like sitting out around it anyways. <laughs> so at least this year it'll all fit in here. So I'm going to do some stocking stuffer ideas for two year olds. Last year, um, I got a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree and they do have like great stuff, especially stocking stuffer type things. But what I noticed was like within a month, most of that was thrown away. It got broke or it was just like one time use, like just kind of like junky type stuff. And it doesn't have to be that way, but apparently the things I picked out, <laughs> they just, there was no longevity to it. And I just didn't want a bunch of junk sitting around. So I tried to get things that, um... We're st I think are still good stocking stuffer ideas, but hopefully some things will get more use out of. And even though it's more expensive, um, hopefully it won't just be a waste because that just really felt like a waste now that I look back and we probably have nothing that was in her stocking last year <laughs> left in our home now. So these are the things that I got and I'm going to be stuffing it as I go and hopefully can make it all fit. <laughs> so the first thing I'll, I'm trying to think what would fit down in the bottom pretty well. So the first thing I got from Ross, it was $4.99 and I wanted to get her some like dress up play stuff this year. I think we're close to the age that she would really enjoy that, but I didn't want to go full out cause we're not quite there yet. So I found this little set for $5 at Ross. It has the shoes, the crown and some jewelry. And these shoes are going to be way too big for her, but she can still, just play around in them. So this was the first thing and I'm gonna, this is probably like the biggest physical item <laughs> that's going in here. So I'm gonna put this down here at the bottom. Fits very nicely. Okay, next, I saw these on, um, I don't remember if it was TikTok or another YouTube video, but she loves her little Picasso tiles, like the little magnetic, magnetic blocks. And then I found out that they make little figures that can go in them, like if you build a house or whatever. I thought these were really cute. And she is really obsessed with like family right now. So like mom, dad, her baby brother. So I think she'll really enjoy playing with these. I think this was a Prime Day sale and it was like less than $10. Okay, let's heard this little backpack she has um, a little toddler backpack right now but it is due to be replaced it's pretty pretty worn and I actually bought her this it's from Target it was originally $15 there's the tag but I actually bought this from a local auction site that they do near where I live and I paid five dollars for it and it is really the cutest thing ever and it's the perfect size for like a two to three year old not too big, which can be hard to find. Most of them are way too big. And she loves putting our little figures in them and carry them when we go to church or out to a restaurant or whatever. Next, Amazon was having like, it was supposed to be a book sale. I think that it was like $5 off when you spend 20, but there was some kind of glitch and I saw it on a Facebook group that I'm in where they were doing $5 off per book of this like specific list of books and there were a bunch of kids books um and this was one of them it was the peppa pig super sticker book it was originally like seven or eight dollars and i got it for less than two because <laughs> it took five dollars off so i thought that was a good deal she's obsessed with stickers and she watches peppa pig sometimes but she'll be excited um for that and especially since it has stickers <laughs> Okay. 
Next, this is the other bigger item. Um, I wanted to get her a bath toy. I'm kind of weird about bath toys. I don't like the kind that can get moldy. And I know a lot of people like, they just replace them every so often and that's fine too, but it also feels kind of wasteful. Um, so a lot of times we'll do like little farm animals or things that like don't have a way to be moldy and that I don't feel like I need to throw away after a month. But I, so I was looking and I really just didn't see anything that I wanted to get her, but she does need some bath toys. Um, and then I found this and it was less than $10 on Amazon. It's just like a little, you pour the water in, it's got all these different valves and things. I think she'll have fun with that. This is going to take up a lot of room, so hopefully I can make this work. <laughs> the other things are not that big, but... Okay, so far so good. <laughs> Next, I got her some Tonys for her Tony box. These are not cheap. I mean, they're like 15 to $20 each, but, and she does love her Tony box, but I didn't want to wrap it up as an individual gift just because it just, I don't know. I got her three and I was like, do I put them together? Do I do them separate? And I just decided she doesn't care either way. So I'm putting them in her stocking. I feel like they're a perfect size for a stocking. So I got her Dora. She just recently started watching that and she enjoys it. And that was actually a Prime Day sale too. I think it maybe was like 13 or something. I got her Sky from Paw Patrol, which is our current obsession. And I got this for $1 at that local auction site. They had a ton of them. And this was like several months ago. And I know a lot of people have Tonys now. I don't think quite as many knew about them then. And so like on the auction site, obviously were bidding against other people and nobody was interested in these and I actually wish I would have gotten more than just one and like tried to resell them for five dollars or something because a lot of them went for less than a dollar but I bought this before she even liked Paw Patrol because I was like I'll buy any Tony for a dollar and now she is obsessed so this is perfect I also got her Chase but he is in the garage so I'll have to add that one later but she got three Tonys um, next, I got her this little, it's not Play-Doh brand, it's Kitty Doh, but it's a little Baby Shark, um, Play-Doh kit. She has the Paw Patrol one that has, like, the little molds, and she really can entertain herself for a long time with that. She was obsessed with Baby Shark, and I kind of weaned her off of it because I just don't love it, kind of feel like it made her... She was a little bit too obsessed with it, and so we kind of weaned her off of it, and she doesn't really even watch it that much anymore, but she likes the song still, and I knew she would really like this, so I got her that. And now, most of what's left is like a lot of arts, like art-type materials. There are a couple things that aren't, but um, this are, see, I think it's called Tube. They're like the little tube animals. She's obsessed with little figures like this. Um, these are farm animals. So she'll like play with them in the bathtub or she'll put them in her backpack and carry them with her. Like she, those can also entertain her for a really long time and she needed some new ones. Um, this was also from the auction site. I paid 85 cents for this. I don't know if it'll work or not. But either way, even if it just works like regular bubbles, she'll enjoy that. But they're supposed to like freeze when you do them um, at negative seven degrees, or wait, 19.4 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. It's supposed to freeze. So I thought that'd be fun this winter to like step on the porch and blow them and see. And if it doesn't, then that's fine. She can just use it like regular bubbles. Oh, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> this is not going to fit. Next, I got her this little pack of color wonder mess free sheets it's just the plain white paper and paid like four dollars for this that was on sale at walmart and then i got these like a pack of the um markers from the auction site for like two dollars which was a good deal because um these definitely are more than that i don't know how much they usually are but that thought that that would be great and she loves anything coloring painting um, stuff like that, but don't fully trust her <laughs> with markers unsupervised, but those I don't have to worry about because they will only show up on that paper. 
Um, next, I got her some dry erase crayons. I didn't even know that these existed, but she has a little um, art easel in her room. One side's a chalkboard, one side's a dry erase board, and then it has like a place where you can like put a roll of paper and pull it down that she can paint on it or color on it. But when I bought her dry erase markers, she never puts the lid back on them and they dry up after like two days and I don't want to keep doing that. So I was just looking for a solution and came across dry erase crayons, which obviously don't have a lid and will not dry off. The only thing is you have to use like a wipe to clean it off the board, not just a paper towel, which that's no big deal. And it comes with a little built-in sharpener, which I thought was cool. Next, I got her some piggy paint. <laughs> this is like a little pack of three and it comes with some stickers. She has never, I think maybe my mom has like painted her toenails before. She's never had her fingernails painted because I just, I don't know, like kids still put their fingers in their mouth at two. So I didn't want to do that, but these are like non-toxic. They're basically made with like water or something. I don't remember exactly, but they are, it, they're taught, their like slogan is natural as mud. It's non-toxic, odorless, and kid-friendly. Obviously, probably still shouldn't be like gnawing on your fingers with this, but she's really obsessed with the idea of painting her nails. She's just never had it done. <laughs> she got into my makeup the other day and got out a tube of liquid lipstick and was painting her nails with it. <laughs> so I was like, it's time to give her some fingernail polish for her stocking. I think that would be really fun for us to do together. Next, I got her this little um, tweezer, like this for her fine motor skills. Um, I'm an occupational therapist. And I use these at work all the time. This was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and they're really great. You can do all kinds of things with that, like in her sensory bins and things. Um, I got her a pack of four large um, paint brushes. These are Melissa and Doug, and they're usually $10, and I got them for four from TJ Maxx, which was a good deal. Lots of stuff for her art easel, so that'd be fun. To go along with that, I got a six-pack of washable project paint. Okay, definitely getting down to the wire here. <laughs> She's getting full. These are washable paint sticks. We've had these before and they just dried up and needed replaced, but this is a pack of 12. She only had like maybe five or six before. And she's really gonna like these on her art easel and just on paper at like her table. I think they're great. They're not very messy. They dry really quick. They're just a fun uh, material to work with. Okay. I got these on sale at Walmart several months ago, um, and she loves these, and she didn't have this one. It was $3, and they're normally like 6 It's just the Mosingo Water Wow. You fill this up with water, and they can color on it. This is like a um, an animal one, so all different types of animals, which she loves. And then the pages dry, and they can do it again and again and again. She actually has one somewhere in here that she's been doing like all day today. So I know she will really enjoy that. And they're really good to take when we go somewhere. This was also on sale for $3. She's not had one of these. It's the Magic Velvet. So it comes with the markers. And you just color in the velvet things, which this just reminds me so much of my childhood. I loved these, <laughs> like the velvet coloring things when I was little. I don't know if these like disappear and come back like or like so you can do it again like the water ones do i don't understand how that would work if so but maybe i don't know we'll find out so close i can do this next she loves these little good to go juices we keep them or use them as sippy cups they're great they don't spill she likes picking out her character and then I saw that they had Bingo and Bluey and got lucky and found them both at once at my local dollar store. So I picked these up to add in here. Okay. 
this is the only candy that I've gotten her so far. I'm not going to get very much more. I know my mom will give her a bunch of candy in her stocking that she will make her. But it's just three ring pops. I might get like one other little snack thing. I just don't want her to have a ton. And that's everything I have here. Like I said, the Chase. Um, Tony is in my garage as well as little finger puppets that are Paw Patrol like plastic ones those are also really great bath toys because there's no way for them to get moldy where they're open on the inside you just let them dry and they're good to go so I will add those in here and other than just picking up maybe like one more snack that's all that's going in here obviously it's plenty it honestly fit pretty perfectly because that Tony will just slide right down in there and she is nice and full. <laughs> it's just so fun. I'm just excited to like lay this out on her couch and her run in and see it on Christmas morning. So that is everything that I'm putting in my two-year-old stocking. And um, hopefully you got some kind of idea from this because there was obviously plenty of items. But... Yeah, I'm happy with what I picked out, and I don't think any of this is going to get thrown away in two days. So, that's all that I have, and thanks for watching.